What's going on guys? Today we're going to be customizing and installing a V6 model grill on the Turbo Mustang. Alright guys, so last time you saw I did the design for the splitter, so this is not the real splitter, this is still this uh, plastic sheet. So I did order the real thing, but we're still waiting for that to come in, that should be in soon, so we can mount that up. But in the meantime, I wanted to keep working on the front end here. You may remember last time I mentioned I didn't like exactly how open the whole front bumper is, so first step in uh, fixing that is going to be adding a grill. And at first I thought I was going to buy just some standard like honeycomb mesh or maybe a grill from another car that is bigger and then I can make it fit this. But then I remembered I actually bought a V6 front grill when I was fixing it and had to get it inspected. So I figured I might as well see if that's a uh, decent solution since I already have it and it's easy to just mock up. And here's the grill I mentioned. So this is the V6 version so it doesn't have the cutouts for the fog lights. So that's great since I don't have any lights in there. And I really have no idea if this is going to fit but the first thing I'm going to do is just trim the sides roughly where I think it needs to be. Because as it sits now I can't even begin to put it behind the front bumper because it just doesn't fit. All right, so I just quickly cut this and put it in. It's a little bit hard to see because it's so dark, but it actually seems to fit really well. Uh, it's definitely not cut perfectly. You can see there's definitely some excess on either side, but I do think I'm liking this look. It's really subtle, so like if you're back here and it's dark, you don't even really see it. And that's kind of what I was going for anyway. As you can see, this is uh, not actually a Mustang logo. This is just the backing for it, so I'm gonna get a Mustang logo and probably paint it black so it will look kind of similar to this. I'm surprised I got it cut almost perfectly. It's just a little bit long, uh, so I'm just gonna clean up all the edges. Now at first I was thinking I was going to mount this to the front bumper using these posts, drill a hole in here and do a clip through the flange on the grill and just pop it in. But I realized I still had this little shroud piece, I guess it would be called like a radiator shroud, and it is meant to sit here. I haven't had it on the car in a very long time. I was able to get it to fit by just trimming off a little section right here because I have the intercooler pipe. So once I trim that off, this will actually sit right where it's meant to and it will fit into the grill. So it actually slips under this channel here and this can attach to the grill in the OEM way using the plastic clips here and here. And then on the other side, it attaches to the rad support in four spots, two on each side. And then the nice thing about this is I can actually bring my hood prop down and mount it where it's supposed to. It was just sitting there before. So this will avoid me having to drill into my bumper. And then on the bottom here, this flange sits right on my bar. So I can go ahead and use that 3M double-sided tape with a little bit of foam in it. So I have a good amount of area there. I think that should be fine. That will avoid me having to drill through this and then you would see some hardware up here or having to do something more creative on the backside. So now the next thing I can do is trim up the sides of the grill because it is a little bit long. And also I can clean up these edges like here and here. So it looks a little bit more like it's supposed to be there. Now I'm gonna mount up this Mustang badge. It's actually not the right one for this area. As you'll see, it uh, doesn't quite fit correctly, but it will serve its purpose for now. I do have the correct one on order. I'll just have to paint it once it comes in because they're normally chrome. I do like this black look. 
So this just mounts with two studs and then uh, some plates on the back with some nuts. All right guys, so now we are fully installed and I gotta say it looks pretty clean. Looks pretty factory from the top side. Got this shroud back where it's meant to be and I trimmed up just some of the edges there on that side here and also on the bottom just so that when you look at it from the front, you don't really see anything hanging out from those uh, top tubes there. The current badge looks a little bit funny because it doesn't really fit in that cutout. So once I get the correct one in there, it'll sit back in a little bit further and look a lot cleaner. And now here with the hood closed, it's kind of funny, you can't even really see it on the camera just because of the exposure. But uh, once you're out in the sunlight, you can see it a lot better. But that's kind of exactly what I wanted because I didn't really totally want to change the look of the front end. I just kind of wanted to close it in a little bit, make it look a little bit cleaner. And I think that's exactly what I accomplished. Now the other thing I was considering is closing in this big portion here. Uh, I have some black plastic, so I might start mocking that up as well. Let me know what you think about that. I know it's, it's a little weird on this side because I don't want to totally cover up my exhaust. I kind of like the look of that. So maybe I could end it early so you would still see the tips or I could bring it to the tips and make cutouts for the tips. So I'm not really sure about that yet. So definitely let me know if what you think about that. I might wait until I have the uh, splitter installed to see how I like that whole look before I commit to closing in anything else. But for today, that's gonna be it. So hopefully next time I will have the splitter and we will start mounting it. We're gonna have to uh, be welding onto the bumper with some mounts. And then of course we'll have to repaint at least part of the bumper and we're gonna be painting the splitter because it's gonna be coming in uh, just raw aluminum. But until then, let me know what you guys think of the new grill.